here we have an old blower motor and a really, really old unit. And what we're doing is I tested the capacitor down here to see if it was working and it's in fine order. But, and there's power to the motor, so what I'm going to do next is ohm out the motor. And if it ohms out bad, I'm going to go ahead and get my replacement out of the van and replace it. I started with the common and high speed lead of the motor and what we find is that it is overloaded. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to use my blade puller to take the old blower cage off there and uh, put the new motor in. We're going to clean that sucker up a little bit because it is nasty. So that's our next stage. Alright, we got our fan all wired up now. See the motor down there. Got a new speed tap right there. That purple wire serves as the common. And then there's two browns that go to the 5 microfarad capacitor. It's a multi horsepower motor that's set on one third horsepower through the use of the capacitor and speeds. So there we are. Now let's go see if that old condenser comes on. Alright, here's our quality heat pump install. We have our new heat pump. Relatively speaking, Goodman 2003 10-seer CPLE 2-ton matched up with that old ream rud. But here's the rud. Nice old unit. They happen just to leave it up here. And why not? Since the disconnect's right there, the old disconnect's on the unit, so I might as well leave the unit up here just to hold that disconnect up. I gotta love that work ethic. And the compressor and fan work, but they aren't coming on, which means low freon. So we're going to hook up the gauges. Well, we hooked up the gauges, and I said low, but I meant there isn't jack crap in there. There's nothing. So we're going to see if we can find this leak with some nitrogen. Well, if you hear it, we found it right here. We're going to give this rusty son of a gun one more summer. All right, time for brazing. Well, we found our leak and repaired it, but I still saw the pressure dropping. So I jacked it up to 250, and I found my other leak, which was right here. In my own damn hose. Unbelievable. It blew out one of the little puncture marks here. It was popping. So I had to go get a new hose. Darn it. And uh, we'll monitor it to make sure it doesn't fall, but that was probably the only leak, so there's one leak that appeared over time and one leak that appeared in my own hose. So, next step, vacuum pump. Alright, now the vacuum's over, we're weighing in the charge on the unit. It's matched up with a, as you see, a really old ream rud unit. So, we're just going to go by the Goodman specs. You hear the click there, that's a low pressure switch. So, we've reached that point at least. We'll go by the Goodman specs and line set and adjust from there. There we are. Weighing it in a little bit of a time. We got seven pounds to get in there. So we'll check back when we've done that. Well, bro, Goodman's running again now. We charged it up. And it was a little bit low still, so we added a little bit more probably for that line set. What we do is we got a suction line, pressure reading just below 70. And we have a temperature on the suction line uh, about around 47 degrees with our clamp. So what we're going to do is we're going to look here. 68. And at about 9, it's right below 49. So, you know, let's say 48 or so. So we're at 47. So we're right on target now. Should be cooling pretty good up in the store now. Just in time to close. Alright, till next time.